Are you ready for a showdown between two of the most impressive flagship smartphones on the market? Today, we're pitting the Sony Xperia 1 5 against the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra in an epic battle of specs, features, and design. When it comes to high-end smartphones, Sony and Samsung are two of the biggest names in the game. But which one reigns supreme? The Sony Xperia 1 5 boasts impressive photography capabilities, while the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is known for its stunning display and cutting-edge features. So, which one should you choose? We're going to take a deep dive into the world of smartphone specs and features to help you decide which phone is the right fit for you. Are you ready? Let's get started. Now let's get down to business and see how these two powerhouses stack up against each other. Display of Xperia 1 5 Now let's talk about one of the standout features of the Sony Xperia 1 5, its incredible display. If you're someone who's all about the visuals, this phone might just be the perfect fit for you. The Xperia 1 5 comes with a 4K resolution display boasting a whopping 1644 by 3840 pixels. That's right, 4K on a smartphone. We know what you're thinking, who needs a 4K display on a phone? But trust us, once you see it in action, you'll be blown away. Whether you're watching movies, playing games, or scrolling through your Instagram feed, the colors and detail on this display are simply stunning. You'll be able to see every little detail, from the hairs on your favorite actor's head to the intricate patterns on your friend's newest outfit. And the 21 by 9 aspect ratio is the icing on the cake. If you're a cinephile, you'll love the fact that you can watch your favorite movies in all their widescreen glory without those pesky black bars. No more compromising on the viewing experience. Don't get us wrong, the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra is no slouch when it comes to its display. But when it comes to pure resolution and clarity, the Sony Xperia 1 5 has the upper hand. So if you're someone who values a top-of-the-line display, the Xperia 1 5 might just be the phone for you. S Pen of Galaxy S23 Ultra Now, let's talk about something that makes the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra stand out in the crowded smartphone market, the S Pen. This little stylus is the secret weapon of the Galaxy S23 Ultra, providing users with a range of cool features and functionalities. Whether you're someone who likes to take notes on the go, or you just like to doodle when you're bored, the S Pen has got you covered. It's the perfect tool for jotting down quick notes or drawing your latest masterpiece. And with features like handwriting to text conversion, it's super easy to share your notes with friends or colleagues. But that's not all. The S Pen also has some other cool tricks up its sleeve. You can use it to cut out segments of photos, making it easy to edit your favorite shots. And if you want to take a group photo without having to awkwardly ask a stranger, the S Pen can even be used as a remote shutter. How cool is that? We have to admit, it's a shame that the Sony Xperia 1 5 doesn't have anything like the S Pen. But hey, not everyone needs a stylus, right? If you're someone who wants a phone with a built-in stylus, the Galaxy S23 Ultra is definitely the way to go. Sony Xperia 1 5's Sensor While the S23 Ultra's camera setup is impressive, it doesn't quite have the unique selling point of Sony's main rear camera sensor. That being said, it's worth noting that both phones come with impressive camera arrays, so it's not like you'll be disappointed with either option. The S23 Ultra's zoom capabilities are particularly noteworthy, with the 10 times optical zoom and the ability to digitally zoom up to 100 times. That's right, 100 times. You could practically take a photo of the moon with this thing. And let's not forget about Samsung's impressive computational photography tech that can make even the most amateur photographer look like a pro. But back to Sony's camera tech. With its stacked CMOS sensor and advanced computational photography, the Xperia 1 5 has the potential to take some seriously impressive photos. Whether or not it will live up to the hype remains to be seen, but we're definitely excited to see what it can do. All in all, both phones have impressive camera tech that will leave you with some amazing shots. The Xperia 1 5's unique main camera sensor might be the thing that sets it apart but the S23 Ultra's zoom capabilities and computational photography make it a formidable competitor. Ultimately, it's up to you to decide which camera setup will best suit your needs. Software Support As we all know, software support is a critical factor to consider when buying a new phone. You don't want to spend your hard-earned money on a shiny new device, only to have it left behind in a year or two, right? That's where Samsung's Galaxy S23 Ultra shines, with one of the best software support plans around. 
Samsung has promised four OS upgrades and five years of security patches for the S23 Ultra, which is nothing short of impressive. It's like having a personal software concierge to cater to your every need. Google itself can't even match that level of commitment to its own Android OS, which is both impressive and a little bit sad at the same time. On the other hand, Sony's Xperia 1 5 has a relatively weak offering of just two OS upgrades and three years of security patches. That's a far cry from Samsung's promises, especially when you consider the price of Sony's flagship. It's like paying full price for a luxury car that's only guaranteed to run for a few years before it's left to rust in the driveway. Of course, it's not all doom and gloom for the Xperia 1 5. The phone has plenty of other features that make it a worthy competitor to the S23 Ultra, like the unique camera sensor we mentioned earlier and the impressive 4K display. But when it comes to long-term software support, Samsung definitely has the upper hand. At the end of the day, it all comes down to personal preference. If you're someone who likes to keep their phone for a few years and wants to be sure they're getting the latest updates and security patches, then the S23 Ultra is definitely the way to go. But if you're someone who's more focused on camera quality or having a stunning display, the Xperia 1 5 might be the better choice for you. The Sony Xperia 1 5 is more expensive. We thought the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra was already expensive, but it seems like Sony took a look at that price tag and said, hold my beer. The Xperia 1 5 starts at £1,299, around $1,500 for the 256GB storage variant, making it even pricier than Samsung's option. Now, we're not saying that the Xperia 1 5 isn't worth the money. It does have that impressive main camera sensor after all. But when you consider Samsung's better long-term software support plan and the fact that the S23 Ultra also has some impressive features of its own, it's hard to justify the extra cost for the Xperia. Of course, some people might be willing to shell out the extra cash for the Sony name, or perhaps they're diehard fans of the brand. And let's not forget that smartphones are a luxury item, so if you've got the money to burn, why not treat yourself to the Xperia 1 5? At the end of the day, both the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra and the Sony Xperia 1 5 are expensive phones, and whether or not they're worth the cost is up to the individual. But here comes the main question, which one should you choose? Well, it really depends on your personal preferences and budget. If you're someone who values a built-in stylus for note-taking and photo editing, then the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra might be the one for you. Plus, with its excellent long-term software support, you can keep using it for years to come. On the other hand, if you're a photography enthusiast looking for a unique camera setup, then the Sony Xperia 1 5 might be more up your alley. The 52-megapixel Exmor T sensor is definitely impressive and could be the deciding factor for some. But let's not forget about the elephant in the room, price. Both of these phones are expensive, with the Xperia 1 5 coming in at an even higher price point than the S23 Ultra. So if budget is a concern, you might want to look elsewhere. Ultimately, it comes down to what matters most to you in a smartphone. Do you prioritize camera quality or stylus support? Is long-term software support a deal breaker? These are all important factors to consider when making your decision. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more like it, make sure to check out our channel and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to click the bell icon to get notified when we upload new videos. And as always, feel free to leave a comment down below with your thoughts and suggestions. See you in the next one.